Welcome back. Experts are warning that climate change will continue to cause problems for the coastline and for at least one group of people who enjoy it most. We're talking there about surfers. Yeah, the local chapter of the nonprofit Surf Rider Foundation spoke with our Brandon Shaft about how the Texas coastline, well, it's changing and what we need to do to prevent it from getting worse. He joins us now in studio to tell us more about that. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Rudy and Mike. And the Surfrider Foundation tells me tonight that climate scientists expect the Gulf of Mexico to increase in its level by up to 18 inches by 2050. Now that's poised to affect surfers since surfing conditions are directly affected by rising sea levels. And experts say that the rest of the coastal bend will eventually notice too. We're seeing up to four and a half to five feet of erosion on, on beaches in parts of the coastal bend. And that's pretty significant, um, you know, and that happens usually when there are big storms. As Texas beaches continue to attract more people every year, experts say there is less room than ever for them as tides rise. Neil McQueen and Zach Plopper are both experienced surfers working for the Surf Rider Foundation, a nonprofit trying to preserve the sport they love. Surfers are really in tune with the tides, and tides make a big difference in the way that waves behave. And unfortunately, we're going to see kind of increasing high tides um, across the Gulf, including in Corpus Christi. Experts say those rising sea levels mean it will be more difficult to access some of the nation's most popular surfing destinations, like Corpus Christi. Texas residents also say the surfing experience itself is changing. It definitely makes it a lot harder because it'll take us, instead of like taking us back to shore, it'll take us like out. The undertow is worse. Surfers like Amos and Kennel, who visit Padre Island a few times every summer to surf, say they've noticed more trash around the water too. They say that needs to change to preserve the area. Like, why can't you just throw it away? Yeah. Exactly, right? So but, just take as good a care of it as yeah. you can. Yes, I encourage yeah. everybody to pick up trash when you see it. Throw it away. Yeah. Just make sure to get it off. For sure. Corpus Christi is one of 10 cities Surf Rider Foundation says is becoming more difficult to surf. They warn erosion issues could spread beyond the Gulf Coast and into the Corpus Christi Bay. People are going to keep coming here that want to recreate and, and, and want to go surfing. Um, there's no question. Um, and I think it's going to be a wake up call for some people that uh, things are going to be changing and uh, they hadn't really thought of the impacts. And McQueen and Plopper also suggest some solutions to climate change affecting these sea levels. They say that limiting carbon emissions, restoring sand dunes, and using oyster beds and mangroves as natural barriers instead of seawalls are ways to help make sure the coastal bend remains popular as a surfing destination. Mike, Rudy. All great ideas. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon.